how Latinos and Latinas vote will have a lot to do with what happens not only in this election but with democracy. So that's the lens through which the Trump the Trump campaign mm -hmm. is looking to reach those voters. But it is, in fact, Paula, completely dystopic, right? That you would have the network Univision, where Donald Trump first begins to reveal his fascist tendencies by going after a journalist in a newsroom, in a news conference setting, mm -hmm. and physically removing that person because of Donald Trump's racism against Mexicans. That person happened to be your father. Mm -hmm. And so the notion that Univision now is basically in this softball interview, que pena for Enrique Acevedo. So many journalists are feeling something we call in Mexican Spanish, pena ajena. Mm. We feel ashamed for you. We don't understand what happened. But sadly, his reputation, his reputation, eh, Univision's reputation, eh, 60 Minutes' reputation, because Enrique Acevedo is tied to eh, 60 Minutes, uh, the whole ripple effect, and then, frankly, the insulting of the Latino and Latina voter, that there would be no pushback on lies being told to people who can vote. It's inexcusable. Dirk, I think what, what Maria is getting to, and it's obviously something that I grew up around, right, is this idea that Univision for, for many years has always been considered a trusted voice for many Latino and immigrant families, right? It, 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 it was always a platform that they could trust. Suddenly we're seeing something different, but the reach is still the same, right? Univision is still reaching more than 90 percent of Spanish-speaking households. We know that the Latino demographic is changing, but it's still very powerful. No, this entity is still very powerful. So what does this mean for your work, Chuck? What does this mean when you're trying to sort of mobilize Latino voters that are still, many of them, watching Univision? I think it's really important to play off of my sister Maria's point about the importance of the vote and the importance of this network. Mm -hmm. The majority in the House and the Senate and the president will be determined through our voters who live in Arizona, who live in Nevada, who live in Pennsylvania, and a few handful of battleground states. We've outgrown Texas, California, and Florida, which a lot of us all still live there. But these battleground states are where real, real information will get the Latinos. And to Maria's point, we've looked to this station for a long time to help us get vaccinated and to get facts out there. Something else that everybody needs to know in the last election cycle, Democrats outspent Republicans on this network five to one in the off year. And even in the last presidential election in 2020, Joe Biden spent almost six to one over Donald Trump here because Republicans didn't spend a lot of time on Univision talking to our electorate because they took them for granted. They didn't care. And in the past, we had voted for Republic, I mean, for Democrats, almost 70-30. So this is where you start seeing the real wrinkle is mm -hmm. that when you look at a trusted network who puts Donald Trump on, and, and they have every right to put Donald Trump on, as long as they put Joe Biden on and they put Democrats mm -hmm. and Republicans on, Univision is not there to say who should win or lose an election, but it's the misinformation to what Maria was talking about to a trusted group of news anchors who are looked at to give us the real news every night. And when they start seeing propaganda, then there's people who really have a problem. But I wonder, Maria, if Univision is seeing an opportunity in the landscape, right? They're suddenly perhaps seeing that some Latinos may want more conservative voices, right? And so I wonder if this is a sort of a, a business bet for them. And I'm asking you this because you, you've been on the field for many years. Now, you know the Latino audience. You've seen them change or not. So what can you tell us about this changing Latino audience, right? Is, is Univision betting on the right play here or not? The thing, is, the thing is, is that it's much more complicated than that because Univision yeah. now almost has a, uh, a Televisa, which is basically a government-supported news and information. They make great telenovelas, but in the question of news and information, Televisa has always been perceived as uh, as being... I don't want to use the word corrupt, because that's mm -hmm. a very intense word, but basically not trustworthy, right? So th the question is, is the role of Televisa having an impact? And frankly, I think from this when you have an interview like this, where there is no pushback on clear lies that are being stated, then the question is, why? And obviously, Televisa has no interest in really educating the Latino and Latina voter whatsoever. And, and, and now we have a situation where you have 
a Latinos and Latinas like myself who would prefer to watch the evening news on Univision because it's international in scope. It's it's frankly it's it's better international news than most American news networks. But ahora now what? Now where do those viewers go? Where do they turn to for trust? Obviously we hope they come to Futuro Media and Latino USA and the work that we do. Mm -hmm. But the bigger question is we we are losing a real source and why is it a money game is it just a money play i think it's much deeper than just a money play